He's performed magic around the world and headlines on the Las Vegas Strip. But the native Metro Detroiter is in town for a special performance tonight. Joining me now is magical entertainer Aaron Raditz. And welcome to the show. Thanks Thank for you, Simon. I appreciate it. So let's talk about exactly the type of magic that you do. What are these shows in Vegas that you've been working on? The Vegas shows have been bigger illusion shows. So involving a large crew, a lot of big props, uh, kind of my passion of love, the things I've developed over the years and trying to bring some uh, new spins and twists on magic, uh, the creativity of that sort of thing. But my biggest passion is involving people from the audience in the show. And you're very generous. Uh, you go and perform for the troops. Also, tell us about that. I do. Yes, uh, my troop tours usually are about anywhere from three to six weeks out of the year. I go to active war zones, entertain our men and women. Uh, they're the most rewarding shows I do, just because you're seeing things up close and personal. What really happens over there? And the show tonight, what can we expect to see? I don't know if you have something you can show us. I'm assuming it's more than uh, taking a coin out of someone's ear. It is. Yeah. yeah. Tonight, it's a beautiful theater in Canton. It's about 400 seat theater. We have two shows tonight, and uh, tonight it's because uh, it's a little bit more of an intimate venue. I'm doing a lot of magic that involves almost all people from the audience. So I'll be using almost 50 people that come up on stage throughout the performance to help me from little kids to grandparents. Are adults. things going to be disappearing? Oh yeah, things will be disappearing, appearing. I'll be borrowing objects from people. I'm going to attempt to get out of a straight jacket. Um, so there's a bunch of fun things in the show tonight. Is there anything Family you have friendly. with you? Can, can I, we I do. A, you know, I, a preview. You know, a lot of times that uh, I get young people ask me if I can help them out with this. The, the young people that are considered naughty, and they come to me and saying, "What do I do when I get this in my Christmas sock?" Well, I have a little technique that I like to show them. A lump of coal. Uh, right? Yeah, a lump of coal. But if you take it out and you just give a little bit of a toss like this. You can see that lump of coal actually vanish away. You can actually turn that sock all the way out. You can see wow. there's nothing there just like that. You can pull that in. You reach inside. Feel around. Sometimes people don't believe me. Um, you can there's even, nothing in there. That's empty. right. It's I know. Empty. This is a bright idea I had. A light bulb went off one day. You feel right there. There's nothing in there there's either. There's nothing right? in there. there. All right, but just go ahead and grab like a little imaginary lump of coal. Grab it, toss it in the air for me. Uh -huh. My right. hands aren't inside. There it is. Reach inside for me. Uh -huh. Go ahead and pull out what you have right there. There's the lump Pull of coal. Off. Show that this camera right there. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. No camera trick. Hey, remember, yeah. I said I had a bright idea. And if you look inside here, you actually missed this right too because we had a light wow. bulb right inside oh, there as well. Wow. That is really cool. And plenty more, even some bigger. Some, oh, yeah, yeah. Some, some oh, I'm not even doing this tonight. Yeah, yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the cost and location, some of the information to pass along. Yes, viewers. yes. It's uh, in Canton, Michigan, off of Cherry Hill. And it's a beautiful theater. There are still tickets available, but not a ton. And the tickets range from 18 to 24 dollars. If you got a party or six or more, you get them for 18 bucks. Otherwise, they're 24 dollars. We have a show at five and seven o'clock. Real quick, how did you get started in, in, in magic? I started with uh, for my grandmother for Christmas. Got a magic set, and that was the bug that bit me. And I've been doing it my entire life. There you go. That's inspiration for many other uh, aspiring magicians that can do that. Andy Choi likes magic, right? What a treat! I love Better. magic. Thank you very much, Aaron, for visiting our studios. Thank you. Thanks for being Coming here. Coming up next. On